Hi everybody. Is there any proof that intermittent fasting is beneficial? Does it have any benefit for the body? Today we're going to talk about a study that was done in 2017 on subjects who are fasting. So stay tuned to find out what the results of that study were. My name is Suhaila Smith from Rise of Truth. For more about topics such as health, science, or religion, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell button so that you can be notified when I post new videos. Okay, so there's a lot of research going on regarding fasting and the effects that it has on the body. But let's take a look at one study in particular. This is a study in which subjects were fasting during the month of Ramadan, and it's also known as an intermittent fast, and particularly in this case, an intermittent dry fast. The study consisted of 29 healthy subjects, and it was published in the Journal of Neurology International in 2017. So let's talk about that study. There were four substances that were measured in the study. The first one is brain-derived neurotrophic factor. As I mentioned in a previous video, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF, protects our brain cells and it optimizes neural activity and it allows for nerve cells to grow. That's something that was previously thought to be impossible. It promotes what is called neuroplasticity as well, which is the ability of the brain to modify or even change the connections in response to our environment. BDNF also helps with memory, with learning, and with the ability to focus. BDNF also helps people perform tasks easier and improves a person's overall mood. So that's the first substance that was measured. The second is serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter that regulates mood as well as social behavior. It also has a role in digestion and plays a role in bone health and many physiological processes. The third substance that was measured is dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter involved in motivation and reward and in memory, attention, thinking, and motor function. And the fourth substance that was measured is nerve growth factor, which is a protein that's involved in nerve cell growth and development, particularly involving the transmission of pain and temperature and also sensation. Nerve growth factor also plays a role in the homeostasis or optimal balance of the brain, immune system, and endocrine system. So all four of these factors were measured and the levels of all of the substances were measured at three separate times. One is two days before the fasting month began, a second time was on the 14th day, and a third time was on the 29th day. They found that there was no significant change in the levels of dopamine. Nerve growth factor levels increased by 10% after 14 days and by 23% after 29 days. But what was really significant in the study was the change in the BDNF levels and the serotonin levels. There was an increase of 25% in BDNF after 14 days, and after 29 days, a 57% increase in BDNF. Again, a 25% increase after 14 days and a 57% increase after 29 days. So intermittent fasting had a significant effect on BDNF levels. And with serotonin, they found that after 14 days of fasting, there was a 33% increase in serotonin levels. And after 29 days of the Ramadan fast, or what is considered an intermittent fast, particularly intermittent dry fast, there was an increase in serotonin levels of 43%. What's interesting is that BDNF and serotonin work together in the sense that serotonin plays a role in the enhancing of the gene expression of BDNF, and BDNF enhanced serotonin, so there are indicators that they have a sort of synergistic relationship. So the next time someone tells you that fasting is bad for you, or that you're starving yourself, you can tell them about some of the scientific findings that actually tell us that it's good for you. Thanks for watching, and I wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate you on both the spiritual level and the physical level for every single day that you fast. Keep up the good work and see you again soon.